You may not know this about me. Each year for the past 12 years, I have been drawn to traveling up to North Carolina from my small town of Safety Harbor, Florida. I go to connect with nature and the scenery informs my art in a different way there. Sometimes I stay in the heart of Asheville, and sometimes I stay at my own yoga and painting retreat. I travel both for business and for pleasure because my business is my pleasure and my passion. Wherever I stay, I take note of my surroundings, immersing myself in the beauty of nature and in the architecture of the city. This retreat was quite special. It had a built-in yoga and painting deck. I enjoy hiking out on the trails and I have become an expert at traveling to fantastic vistas with my easel, palette, paints, canvas, camera, and yoga mat. I tend to create a magical spot wherever I stay. And my dog, Aria, she sticks right by my side when I'm painting and doing yoga. It's kind of funny because if we were to see a squirrel or anything else with four legs and we were in Florida, she would chase it. But for some reason, she senses, somehow she senses the difference and generally stays on her yoga mat. And it makes for great video and photo opportunities. Video like a good girl. Whoops. Good girl, Aria. I'd like to share some of my plein air artwork inspired by hanging out in the North Carolina mountains. Painting in North Carolina gives a different feel to my work. It tends to bring in the warmer browns and more greens up here. I like staying by the river, well, mainly because I love the water. Each morning, I begin my day with a yoga practice. Then I pull on my river boots and wander into the river to find a stream. To create this painting, I found a large rock to use as an easel and I painted. I wa walked, would walk right to the center of the river and look at what I was painting and then walk back and paint right there in the water. I find painting to be a moving meditation and one that I love to do in nature. Every true wanderer knows that there is an art to packing well, travel light, less is more, the one bag rule. But if you're going to see some things, do some things, you need some things. A good travel easel, backpack, and a large canvas are some of those things. <laughs> 